This is the traditional scraper from Brazil called Heco Heco. This is a traditional scraper instrument from Cuba called Guido. This is the scraper that you'll be making. What we're going to do now is we're going to review the playing techniques of the Brazilian scraper instrument known as Heco Heco. What I'd like you to do is place your hand, your non-writing hand, out in front of your body with your palm facing upward. Then take the instrument and place it inside of your palm securely and making it now parallel with the floor. Take your writing hand and put the stick in your writing hand. We're going to do a series of short and long strokes. What I'd like to do is point out though to make it feel like the samba pushing the rhythm. What we're going to do is accent the first long stroke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to four and then I'm going to demonstrate the rhythm that we're going to play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, learn the techniques used for the instrument, the scraping instrument that is from Cuba and Puerto Rico, known as the guiro. Now the interesting thing about this technique is that we take our non-writing hand and we actually lift it up. Take the scraper and put it inside your non-writing hand and you're actually looking at the knuckles of your non-writing hand. And then we're going to take our stick and actually I should point out that the instrument now is basically parallel to our bodies. Then we're going to take our writing hand, taking the stick in our writing hand, we're going to place the stick on the outer side of our scraper. Okay, and I'm going to actually demonstrate this slowly because there's three strokes that make this rhythm. There's the long stroke starting down at the very low part of the instrument going all the way up the full length of it. So that'll be long. Then we have a chop, which basically what I'm doing is I'm chopping the stick towards the lower part of the instrument, okay? So chop. Then short, which is basically coming up halfway. Short. So the combination of strokes is long, chop, short. And if you continue to say that while you're playing this rhythm, you'll never make any mistakes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna count and I'm going to demonstrate the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.